Hello guys, I'm Nona Prince and this is what I've watched this month. This is a new series I want to do at the end of each month and I would discuss what I watched throughout the month. It can be movies, TV shows, uh, specials, even old movies which I saw. I just wanted to be a casual video just to let you guys know what I watched and if you want to recommend me something. Of course, you guys always recommend me something. If something I want to recommend you guys, just in brief, not a review. Also, there's so much stuff to watch. I cannot review everything and there's not something I want to say about everything I watch. Even some of the recommendations you give me. If I'm not reviewing it, I will share my thoughts in these videos at the end of each month. And also, I'll let you know my thoughts in the community tab. So, let's start what I watched in theater this month. I started with good news. Latest, I watched Tanaji. Good news was okay. I was expecting more. The humor was there, but... I think they just dragged a lot of things and the second half didn't work for me at all. It was like, what are you trying to show? What is the message you are giving at the end? Like, I didn't get it at all. The real attraction was the two pairs going against each other, but it almost took 40 minutes till Dilji Dosan showed up. And the second half was everything what we saw in the trailer. So there was nothing new. Tanaji, I felt it was a one-time watch. If you like action movies, if you like historical movies, it was a one-time watch for me. A lot of questionable VFX, but it was but it was consistent throughout the film. Now, I don't know if it was a creative choice or that was the budgetary issue. It felt very different from other historical movies because it was very exaggerated. They showed the movie in a theatrical way. It felt like you're reading a Machitragata comic. It didn't feel like a Sanjay Bansali movie or even... Even Bahubali. It was very different and, and it felt fresh because now there are so many historical epics. It's getting saturated and people will soon get bored. So having a different style, it helped. I also watched Marriage Story on Netflix starring Scarlett Johansson and Adam Driver. Video on that is coming soon, so stay tuned. Watch Lucia, the Canada film. Review is out. Go check it out. Then I saw Guzarish on Netflix. I didn't get a chance to watch it and I really, really enjoyed it. For me, it's the best Sanjay Bansali film, best Hrithik film, best Aishwarya film. I read some reviews and I think I really connected with the movie than others. Loved Hrithik's performance and it was a good watch. Then I saw Jim Carrey's Eternal Sunshine of the Spotless Mind on Netflix. I'd heard a lot about the film and it's a really, really trippy film. Like, I think I still don't understand the whole film. It's really complicated in a way. But at the end of the day, it's a, you can say some psychology or sci-fi. You can term it like that. But at the end of the day, it's about love between two people. And that I get it. Then I saw Silver Lining Playbook. And it was really, really good film. The way they portrayed the mental issues two people had, it was really, really good. It was so well done. Like, I could understand what is happening with them, why they are behaving in a certain way, why they are getting angry, why they are getting sad suddenly, you know, the mood swings, it, the performances were so good. Then the TV shows. First one, The Witcher. I didn't watch it in Jan, but I saw it, I think, the end of December. So let's count it in. And it was cool. It was good. But I would say if you just go and try to, you know, compare it with Game of Thrones, that's not the way to go. Just watch it for what it is. And it works fine. They did a non-linear storytelling and for me it worked, for some people it didn't. I like Henry Cavill and he did a really good job. Next series I watched was Sex Education Season 2 and I love that series. It's the most well-written show I have watched. Of course, it educates about sex and that's really, really necessary, especially in our country. I'll link a video below, check that out and you'll know how illiterate we are about sex in our country. Because people don't talk about it. But over that, the way it's written, the way all the characters are written, the way the character arcs work, it's so good. There's no villain. Because there's no villain in real life. Every character goes to something. It can be good and bad. Something good happened to one character, something bad happens to the other character. And that's so natural. And at no moment, you feel the one character is just bad. Like, there's no one-dimensional character in this show. If something good happens to a protagonist, something bad happens with someone else. And you feel bad for that. And that's just amazing writing you should definitely check it out watched amazon primes the forgotten army by kabir singh by kabir khan to be honest it was a disappointment i think it didn't meet the expectations i had what i really wanted to see and what we got didn't match at all and i don't think i have anything else to say i think pride and refuse productions covered everything go check out his video if you haven't yet so i watched some specials Stand-up specials was for Veerdas and Rohan Joshi's and both were good. It's not like Zakir Khan's that you just keep laughing and enjoying. They are more political, more satirical 
and at no moment i think for both stand up i just laughed out loud and it just the little smile little you know thought provoking statements and it just makes you smile and makes you feel good and with that it talks about the political situations and everything around us both of them worked for me also watched hasan minhaj special the homecoming king it's on netflix and really really enjoyed it i think for me it is one of the finest stand up i've ever seen it is so good i'll not spoil anything if you are into stand up and go check it out you will relate to it and you will love it so that's it i was going to watch parasite it's really gone 31st let's see if when i can get to watch it but i'll watch it soon more videos coming next month and i hope you guys like it and if you like it do like share comment subscribe and support the channel thank you guys see you later